This is Richard Wolff from Democracy at Work with a response to another Ask Prof. Wolf from our Patreon community. And this question comes from Susan Scheinfeld. She asks, in light of Mr. Trump's not providing Massachusetts with some of the medical supplies needed to combat the coronavirus, she asks, would it be possible for Massachusetts to establish worker co-ops that would produce the medical supplies that are needed to fight viral pandemics, whether or not they can be gotten from the federal government? The short answer to Susan's question is sure. The state of Massachusetts could set up worker co-ops to do almost anything. Massachusetts is a big enough state with a diverse enough uh, labor force, with skills, with resources, uh, and with established trading relationships both with other states and beyond in other countries to be able to manage that. And there would be many good reasons to produce a worker co-op sector in the Massachusetts economy, sort of the way the state in Italy called Emilia-Romagna has done that. 40% of that region's uh, enterprises are worker co-ops, almost half. It's been that way for decades, and it's a very successful experiment in worker co-ops, which is defended not only by the worker co-op community, but also by the rest of the people of Emilia-Romagna, because they want an economy where they have a mixture in their society between capitalist enterprises, top-down, hierarchical, run by a few people at the top, and worker co-ops. And Massachusetts could do likewise. In fact, my guess is Emilia-Romagna, who are eager to show what they have achieved, would be willing to help Massachusetts. So the short answer is yes. But I must say, it oughtn't to be done. And let me tell you why. It is crazy in a country the size of the United States, 325 million, divided up into 50 states, uh, to have the idea that each state should on its own become uh, self-sufficient in something as important as the medical items needed for people's health. It is almost certainly much more efficient in terms of the amount of time and labor it takes for there to be Uh, things concentrated and produced at a much bigger scale, say in Massachusetts, for the whole country, uh, make masks, Um, in Wyoming, for the whole country, make ventilators, in Louisiana, for the whole, and so forth. That's what the benefits of size are, the kinds of specialization that can allow you to produce at a scale that the cost of each individual item is kept under control. Now, you're right, Susan, if your point is the public health is worth the extra labor to have the reliance, you're absolutely right. And if there was no other way to be sure, then you should produce it because you need it to survive and to keep your people healthy, which is about as high a priority as you can put on anything. But it is a tragedy. It's a criminal tragedy. If the federal government is indeed doing, as you suggest in your question, holding back supplies from selected states, not doing all that it could have and should have done, and we know that it didn't, we know that there are companies in America that produce tests and masks and beds and hospitals, and they weren't producing those things because it wasn't profitable. And our government was not buying and stockpiling them because it has that same profit mentality. You know, we have lost more wealth since the coronavirus hit many times more than it would have cost us to have produced and stockpiled all the tests, all the masks, all the gloves, all the ventilators that we would have needed to have a much better, sooner, safer response. So I'm interested in your question. I think you're right that worker co-ops are a direction this country needs to go for many things. And if there's no other way to guarantee public health, then let's do it that way. That should have been the priority, not profits, 
public health. The private capitalist system put profits first. A worker co-op economy wouldn't need to do that. And so it would, in the long run, be the better way to secure our public health than to rely on a private capitalist system, which says about itself that its bottom line, its number one priority, is profit. We should never have anything that is more a priority than the health and the life-saving capacity of a community like that of Massachusetts. This is Richard Wolf for Ask Prof. Wolf, with appreciation as always for the interest and the support of our Patreon